Where is Robin Hood said to have lived? Transylvania, Loch Ness, or Sherwood Forest? Shadow P says have the same jacket. Ace, Shadow P, big shout out to you, my guy. Country Karen, what's cracking? What's cracking, home girl? We got Dexter, Mesa Blue, Tony Lynn, Jane Lynx, Skater Hoss, Sean Nessie Girl, Reckless Twins, Arissa Reddick. Much love to you guys for using the cool new st uh, sh stickers that we have available down below. And that is the Sherwood Forest. The real Sherwood Forest is in England, hosts an annual medieval themed Robin Hood festival. Pretty cool. I would totally love to join that. And let's go on to the next and see what else we got. Question number two, and then you get it knocked out. So in Disney's Snow White, the evil queen seeks answers from blank. Is that magic mirror? Bewitched basketball? Or charmed chopping board? <laughs> and uh, as much as I wish it would be a bewitched basketball, it is the magic mirror. And in the film, the queen asked mirror mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? And it's Raul. <laughs> he goes. <laughs> all right, all right. And our key says, see, chef life. Oh, man, that charm chopping board would be so fun. Talking to you, making some food, hanging out with the homie. Let's go on to the next and see what else we got. A community of ants is known as blank. Is that Commonwealth, Colony, or Republic? What do we think? What do we think? One more time. A community of ants is known as blank. Is that Commonwealth, Colony, or Republic? <laughs> Shouts out to Sincerely Human. It's Autumn 2. I love tomatoes. And Tony Lynn. Oh, my girl. Tony Lynn is in the house. What's up, Mia Blue? And that is a colony of ants. A colony typically lives in an ant nest in the wild or ant farm or in your backyard, wherever you may find it. Velma says it will get hotter. Hmm. Who knows, maybe, maybe not. Let's go over to question number four. This hybrid fruit is between a mandarin Tanja or piney berry. And it is the Tanja, the piney berry and strawberry cultivator with the pineapple like taste. That sounds delicioso, doesn't it? Yeah, I didn't know you can cross fruit like that either. I don't even know how you do that. Do you just get them and make a new fruit or do it? All right, let's go on to the next and see what else we got. So who was the first solo female to host the, the Academy Awards? Is that Whoopi Goldberg, Joan Rivers, or Ellen DeGeneres? One more time, who was the first solo female to host the Academy Awards, Whoopi Goldberg, Joan Rivers, or Ellen DeGeneres? Velma says lemons are hybrids. Are they really? Hybrids of what? And that is Whoopi Goldberg. Goldberg became the first show's African-American host when, it's, when she stepped into the role in 1994. Juicy11, thank you so much for the good positivity, but we have amazing, amazing amount of hosts here. We're all extremely talented, entertaining people. I highly recommend you go check them all out. And let's go over to question number six and see what else we got. People who believed in the flying spaghetti monster are often known as blank. Is that pastafarians, <laughs> marinerites, <laughs> or agnochists? Agnostious. <laughs> and looks like that is a Pastafarian. The social movement promotes lighthearted view of spirituality, for those of you wondering. So he's like, oh, uh, are you religious? Yeah, I'm a Pastafarian. Yeah, there's a flying spaghetti monster in the sky, so I definitely believe that that's true. And let's go on to the next. All right, all right, everyone. Jamil says, y'all just made this up. No, this is real fun. Go look it up, bro. This is an actual thing that people do. It's so funny. So check it out with anyone who has three keys to spare. Lie those puppies down. You can participate into the bonus round. As you guys know, if you guys want to come in here and participate, make it all the way to the 12th question, and you will get a piece of the $200 cash prize. If you're going to be joining, let me know right now so I can show you some love. Shouts out to Amy Young B, Sincerely Human, Madison Walker, Da, da real knee, 
Katrina Lisa, how you doing, homegirl? Mommy for three and sincerely human. Papyrus is joining. A large shirt is joining. <laughs> we got Pretty Fly Renee. She's in here. And let's get this knocked out. Hashtag normalize atheism. All right. Is that water's freezing and boiling points are separated by blank Fahrenheit? Is that 140, 220, or 180 degrees? So water's freezing and boiling points are separated by how many degrees? So say if water freezes here and water boils here, what's the numbers in between? Is that 140, 220, or 180? And our key, much love to you, saying it's Liddy. Liddy, you already know it's cracking, cracking, girl. And so check, check this was... Uh, Eight, 180 degrees, a standard atmospheric pressure water freezes at 32 degrees and boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember that. Raul says, is water wet? Yes, water is wet, bro. Yes, it is. Everyone, is water wet? Let me know. Let's go on to question number two of the bonus round and see what else we got. All right, what is the largest animal ever known to have existed on Earth? Is that A, B, or C? <laughs> uh, no thanks. What is the... So water makes things wet. So what, then what is water? Hmm? So when you're completely submerged underwater, are you wet? Oh my goodness. And it looks like it was A. Let's go on. So it's also known as the blue whale. An adult's head is wide. Oh, my God. That 50 people could stand on its tongue. On A. Yeah. Let's go over to question number three. In Greek mythology, who forged Zeus's main weapon? Is that Cyclops? Uh, Hephaestus? Or Daedalus? Daedalus. The texture of water is not wet. Oh my gosh, you guys are literally so frustrating because water is wet, bro. It is. All right, Cyclops. That was the Cyclops, an ancient race of a one-eyed giants. There was a master craftsman who forged Zeus's thunderbolts. Wow, that's a big flex. Yes, I'm the guy who forged Zeus's thunderbolts. What's up? <laughs> Put that on your resume. That's pretty cool. Let's go on to question number four. Let's see what else we got. Which of these classic plays is named for a wholly fictional monarch? Is that Macbeth, King Lear, or Cymbeline? And this is King Lear. Macbeth was king of the Scots in the 11th century, and Cymbeline was a king in pre-Roman Britain. Cymbeline. Lane? Yeah. Hmm. There's an I there, so I don't make an A sound. English is fun. All right, all right. Much love to Lynn Ten. How you doing? How you doing? And let's go on to the next and see what else we got. All right, question five. Which of these famous aircrafts was not a monoplane? Is it Spirit of St. Louis, Ben Fitz Flyer, or Memphis Bell? One more time. Which of these famous aircrafts was not a monoplane? Is that Spirit of St. Louis? Vin Fis Flyer or Memphis Bell. And it's Vin Fis Flyer on that one, everyone. So Vin Fis was a biplane built by the Wright brothers. Cool little fun fact. All right, all right. All right. So water is water is wet. No, I'm we're going on this. Water is totally wet, family. And I, I don't I don't care what you guys say. Water is wet, bro. All right, let's go on to the very last. The governor of blank is not currently running for president in 2020. Is that the Treasurer State, the Evergreen State, or Palmetto State? So is fire hot? So is fire, you know, like, is, is fire, like, what? Is, fire yeah, is fire, no, 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 oh my gosh. All right, and that is the Palmetto State. The governors of Washington and Montana are among those vying for the Democratic nomination. And that's a fun fact. All right, all right, everyone. We got through a game of Quizzo. <laughs> Water isn't wet. It's a sensation. You know what? I like that. I think... <laughs> 
the toxic turtle take the, took the dub today. Yo, I love that. He says, water isn't wet. It's a sensation. Bro. Yo, I like that. You win. Toxic Turtle wins. Everyone, throw some, throw, throw your emojis in the comment section down below for Toxic uh, Toxic Turtle. He just, he just changed the game for me. I, it, that's it. Water isn't wet. I'll go with that. You know, water isn't wet. It's a sensation.